Hey Bromley residents, we're back for another week of our Guide to Life at Brom series. First we have some serious business to attend to and then after that I'm super excited because it's going to be a fun Halloween episode so stick with us and we'll get going. So let's get started with our campus updates. First of all, you've hopefully seen by now the Chancellor's email regarding the rest of fall semester as well as the plan for spring semester. So as you know, Bromley Hall will remain open for the remainder of fall semester, even after fall break. Testing sites will be open as well. You can find the Chancellor's email linked on our event calendar on our website. Also, we now know that the spring semester will begin January 25th, but that students are required to be tested before that. So Bromley Hall will be open with plenty of time for you to get those tests done. We're still in the process of figuring out how exactly that plan will work. So stay tuned and we will get that to you. Next, our first Illini football game is this Friday at 7 p.m. You can watch this on the Big Ten Network. Information on how to access that is on our event calendar on Friday, so be sure to check that out. Also, Bromley is having a King Dad contest to celebrate our virtual dads weekend, so that will be November 6th through 8th, so stay tuned on our Instagram for more information on how to enter your dad to be the next King Bromley Dad. So just as a reminder, if you have not had COVID, you need to get tested every other day. If you have had COVID already, you need to be tested twice a week. This new requirement will be reflected in your app, so take a look at that. Our numbers continue to go downward and the testing compliance has been so much better. So we wanna thank you all for your hard work. Please keep it up to keep our community safe. Just remember to continue to wear a mask, social distance, and not allow guests in our room to avoid any negative consequences in the future. Obviously, there are some serious and heavy things happening here in Bromley Hall. However, we are a community that can still come together to have some safe fun too. We have some fun, exciting events coming up that we're excited to share with you. First of all, don't forget our D applications are due October 26th and our A applications are due November 1st. That's right around the corner, so make sure you're working on those. Also, get excited. Our virtual costume contest starts right after this. It will run October 23rd through the 30th, but make sure you send us your pictures of your costume by October 27th for a chance to win one of our top three prizes. I can't wait to see what you guys have. We'll announce the winner in our next Life at Brown video on October 30th. Make sure you also mark your calendar. We will have a Halloween night dinner here at Bromley. You won't want to miss it. It's going to be great. Also, keep an eye out for more information on our sweet, sweet contest. Get your room ready. Tidy it up. I'm super excited to see your guys' rooms. And our final update, don't forget, if you're wanting to stay in Bromley over fall break, the forms for that are due November 6th, and they're on our website. Now for the fun part, y'all. Halloween is pretty much one week away. So excited. This is such a fun time of the year. So we're going to go over some rules and policies here in Bromley for Halloween, but then we're going to go over some fun things going on here in Bromley and some ideas for you guys. So let's go over some of these rules and policies that you guys are dying to know. So first of all, just a reminder that guests are not allowed in Bromley at any time, but for Halloween weekend, we will have extra security just to make sure that this rule is obeyed. Also, we want you guys to remember to continue social distancing, wearing your mask, and remaining in small groups only. Uh, we know that Halloween is an exciting time, but it's so important that you guys follow these to keep our numbers down and to keep our community safe. Also, remember to keep your ID and your key fob with you at all times. Next, just a reminder that regardless of your age, uh, consuming or possessing alcoholic beverages or controlled substances is not allowed in Bromley Hall. And lastly, just a reminder that even though it's Halloween weekend, that is not an excuse to be disruptive, disrespectful, or anything like that. So just remember that any behavior like that will not be tolerated. And now for the fun stuff. Like I said, Bromley is having a Halloween-themed dinner on Halloween night. I'm super excited for this and so thankful that our dining hall staff loves to spoil us with these themed dinners. You won't want to miss it. Also, make sure you check out our virtual costume contest. You need to DM us your entries by October 27th, and then after that, Bromley residents will get to choose our winners. Uh, hopefully you can come up with something a little less basic than me, uh, but whatever works. We have prizes for the top three, a $50 gift card, $25 gift card, and a $10 gift card, so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. 
I want to encourage you guys to find safe, fun things to do here in Bromley on Halloween night. So I've got a couple ideas. If you have any others, we would love for you guys to DM us what you are doing to stay safe on Halloween. My idea would be to host a Netflix watch party. So invite your friends here in Bromley, invite your friends across campus, at home, whatever. If you guys can have a Netflix watch party, pick your favorite scary or Halloween movie. I think this would be a super chill and fun night. Another fun idea that will keep you busy and safe on Halloween would be carving or painting pumpkins. So grab your sweet mates, grab some pumpkins. It can be super fun, super cute. Another great option for you. I have loved walking around and seeing all the Halloween door decorations that you guys have put up. I love the spirit. Keep an eye out for messages from your RAs that they might give you some more events or things to do for Halloween week. We want to do a Halloween takeover next week, so DM us your pictures for a chance to be featured on our Instagram. Make sure to check out our Halloween daily picture challenge. We will be posting uh, a list of things that you can take pictures of and send to us for a chance to be featured on our Instagram. This will help us get some Halloween spirit and celebrate the week. Now for your binge watch recommendation of the week. I love a good scary movie. The Conjuring is one of my favorites, so you should definitely check it out if you haven't. If scary movies aren't really your thing, Hocus Pocus is also a great Halloween movie, a classic. Thanks for tagging along for another week of our Life at Brom series. I can't wait to see the costumes and fun, safe ways to celebrate Halloween that you guys come up with. Make sure to DM those to us. Remember to get tested regularly, continue to wear your mask, social distance, and make good decisions. See you next week. COVID or twice a week if you have been positive.